Couldn't do it. Now, before I close, I want to visit the scripture of the day. Jezebel's son came in contact with Jehu. They passed each other. Look what the scripture says. It came to pass when Joram saw Jehu, he said, Is it peace, Jehu? And he answered, What peace? So long as the whoredoms of thy mother Jezebel and her witchcrafts are so many. So here's what I don't want you to stumble over. Don't stumble over that word witchcraft. When Elijah faced Jezebel, he was facing witchcraft. I want everybody to hear what I'm saying to you. I don't know if you know this. And I don't know if you're going to believe me when I tell you this. But what's happening right now in America is witchcraft trying to take this country over. It's witchcraft. It's trying to take America back over. And I want to tell you something else. I am not being political. But I don't see how President Trump bears up under it. He's as strong as I have ever seen a man be. But here's what the Holy Spirit said to me last night, and here's what he said for me to tell you. He said, tell the church that so far Trump has been dealing with Ahab, but Jezebel is fixing to step out from the shadows. That's what the Lord said to me. And I couldn't understand the other day when I was preaching in Houston why I felt something so much on this when I was preaching. I felt a real powerful unction on me when I was preaching this about intimidation. Or I was preaching this about uh, containment. But then last night when the Lord gave me this about the witchcraft, the Lord said he's been dealing with this. But he said, pray for him now. Because he said, there's about to be a shift. And the deep state is about to manifest. And it's going to be a showdown like you can't believe. So I'm coming to you as a prophet. As a man of God. And I'm telling you, it's time to pray for the president. Here's what he said. Jehu said, hope, peace, you say. He said, so long as the whoredoms of your mother Jezebel and her witchcrafts, there won't be no peace. Witchcraft was in full control, and witchcraft is what knocked Elijah right out of his position, took him out of power. Oh, my God. I heard the Lord say, there's going to be an attempt to take him out of power. Let's stand and pray right now. Come on, help me out right now. I want you to lift your voice. Everybody, help me pray. Come on, help me pray, church. I don't want you to pray in two minutes. I want you to pray. Come on, help. We got to pray for this man. Come on, cry out to the Lord. We lift him up, Lord. God, make him bold. Make him strong. Keep him, Lord, with your keeping power. Preserve him, Holy Spirit. Keep him, Holy Spirit. Keep him, Holy Spirit. Preserve him, Lord. Don't let him lose his voice. Make him stronger than ever, Holy Spirit. Make him more resolute than he's ever been. Lord, 
let no weapon be formed against him that will knock him out of power. Help him, Lord. Strengthen him, Lord. Come upon him, Lord. Shararaba rama sanda hobando. Betaraba papandri bibiande. Woo! Man, it's time to pray, church. I believe our nation is in the balances. Shabarabo Robo Korebe under. Come on, everybody, lift your voice. Help me pray. Lift your voice. We're in the heavens, Lord. We're in the heavens, Lord. We're in the heavens, Lord. Shara Rabba Ramanda Horama Saramanda Bida Rabba Kupara Mayande Bata Rabba Sataba Babakata. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord Holy Spirit, move, Holy Spirit, move, Holy Spirit. Flush out every witchcraft spirit. Flush it out. Flush it out, Lord. Flush it out. Flush it out, Lord. Flush it out. Flush it out in the open. Let's see who it is. Let's see what's going on. Flush it out. Flush it out. Flush it out. Lord, we pray for his wife. We pray for Lord Melania. We pray for his children. Lord, we pray for all of his family. Lord, put a hedge of protection around them. This is a crucial moment. There's a lot hanging in the balance, Lord. Make this man like a Moses. Unintimidated. Wow. Take somebody's hand and let's pray together. Come on. The Bible said two. One shall put a thousand. Two shall put ten thousand to flight. Come on, get somebody's hand. It's time to pray. Let's pray. Woo. Let's pray. Get somebody's hand. Take somebody's hand. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh my God. Oh my God. My God. My God. My God. Keep him, Lord. Keep him, Lord. Shababa hando rebe yada babama solo lolo baba bayata. Cry out! Cry out, church! Cry out to the Lord! We're praying for America! Lord, we're not going back! We're not going back under Jezebel! 
We're coming out! We're coming out! We're coming out! We're done with Jezebel! Jesus, Lord, the soul of this country is at stake. The very soul of this country is at stake, Lord. There's another prayer that I want you to pray before we leave. It's almost like a stupor has come over America. It's like no matter what's reported on the news, no matter what's discussed on panels, it's just not sinking in. It's not sinking in. Lord, remove the veil. Lift the veil. Let it begin to soak into this nation. There's a battle for the soul of America. Lord, I ask in Jesus' name. Expose those shadow spirits. Expose who the shadow government is. Snatch the curtain up, Lord. Then America will really be free. Then the church will not be contained anymore. Then the economy won't be contained. Lord, snatch the curtain up in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to say this. I'm not being political. Don't get me wrong because I see good and bad in all of it. Trust me. But it's almost like Trump is going in and trying to take America by the hand and say we can be great again. And they're trying to trip him every time he moves. God, help this man. I ask, Lord, help him. Father, topple Jezebel. Topple the powers that be. It's time. Containment is over. Let's go, let's move, let's go, let's go. It's now, it's time. Let's go. Come on. Woo! Come on. Shete, Rapata. Parabasata. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, that's the way I want to dismiss today. And I want you to remember this week to pray for the president. I want you to keep your eye on the news. Keep your eye on the news. Keep your eye on the news. You're going to have to learn to pray without me calling you to pray. You're going to have to learn to be sensitive and be tripped off into prayer without me calling you and telling you to be tripped off in prayer. When you see something, go to prayer immediately. Pray for the man. Oh, he's not a perfect man. No, he's not. No, 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 no. He's not even a prophet as we know a prophet to be. He's not a Moses. But he's sure a man that's taken a lot of flack for this nation. And I just pray that God will really bless him and help him to continue to be strong. Because up until now, he's been dealing with Ahab. But the Lord said, tell the people Jezebel is about to make her move. Y'all remember what I'm telling you. See you next Sunday. God bless you.